6.43 this morning, the Savannah Police Chief called the Bureau, asked for assistance, specifically requested us. Run it down, John. Four bombs went off yesterday, two waves of two each. The first, just afternoon during shift change. The second, exactly an hour later, all our rescue workers were here. He could have done more damage if he put it in the lobby or by the door. Have there been threats against the hospital abortion protests? Neither, but this was very deliberate. Timers, a crossfire pattern. This guy wanted to spill some blood. How many did he kill? Four. Eleven injured. Two not likely to make it. Well, if he's gunning for the hospital, why would he use a second bomb to target the rescue workers? This is a computer sim of the blast dynamics on the Savannah bombs. Okay, here's the first wave. Bomb went off in front of a roach coach. No word yet on where it was hidden. The second bomb was in a trash can. It was set off an instant later by the first, and its blast slingshotted into the hospital. Nancy's he's shooting very controlled. Everything in a room. Blast lines are very exact. He's meticulous. He? Yeah, bombers are overwhelmingly white males, late 20s to early 40s, above average intelligence, usually loners. They act out of anger, either political or personal. OK, let's check customs and the State Department. Find out if we have any recent arrivals with taste for bombs. Okay, second wave. George? Yeah. <clears throat> Here, two more bombs an hour later. Okay, it's military. Standard enfilade ambush pattern. The first blast hit from the side, the second from the front. With the rescue workers, he went for body count. So he's obviously making a distinction between the two targets. We need to know everything we can about the hospital and those rescue workers. What else? Okay, the Bureau and Savannah bomb experts say the bomb had a sophisticated detonator called an electrical pulse, and they also agree that Nick Cooper wrote the book on pulse detonators. Well, that's a break. He's worked with us. I'll ask ATF to reassign him to us for the duration. Tobacco and firearms agent Nick Cooper to Violent Crimes Task Force. No! Is he hers? Off and on, he would be if he knew how much it upsets me. <laughs> You're decorating? I'm just. Trying to figure out Jack's latest twist. Recruiting a woman to go with. There's Jack, filling in for a Jill. Jack and Jill. Well, if I remember the nursery rhyme correctly, it didn't work out so well for them. Oh, it's so. I don't know, I just, uh, I can't figure out why he would want a partner. I have been fundamentally wrong in my profile of him, Bailey. We need to find a new approach to catch Jack, and we will. By the way, are you okay with Coop being around again? Yeah. Good. He's in the lab. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. You've been busy. Yeah, I uh, caught the first shuttle and dug right in. Uh -huh. You look great. Oh, thank you. So do you. Thanks. How's everything? Good. Everything's good. Oh. 
So shall yeah. we? Yeah, all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this is the detonator. It's a signal pulse trigger, very twitchy, kind of thing that can get away from you. Are you wearing perfume? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. I don't remember you doing that. No, I did. I mean, every once in a while. Oh. So anyway, the, the detonator, uh, what, what's the deal with that? Uh, yeah, it's uh, new technology, five years maybe, favored by the pros, special forces, CIA, Russian mafia. Swears by them. Does Chloe still have her ant farm? Yes, and a gerbil, a hamster, and a fish, and of course the dog. I miss her. She misses you too. Anyway, uh, the first bomb was the stuff that's in this tray. When it was together, it was a beeper, uh, worn by a doctor, I believe. A beeper? Yeah. Well, uh, it would take an incredible amount of skill to make a bomb out of a beaver, though, and then, then he planted it on the victim. It's pretty bold. This guy's a show off. You know, it's fascinating. He didn't buy his explosives. They're custom blend. It's mostly potassium nitrate, but spiked with napalm and a few other odds and ends. It's, it's unique. Napalm, that, that has a distinctive color, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very dramatic. Was the blast radius small enough for him to get close? He shaped it that way. Colors, precisely drawn lines. I think our bomber thinks he's an artist. I bet he got as close as he could so he could savor his work. Uh, so the, the problem I'm having is that I'm missing something. Right. Um, there are certain pieces here, like this little thing, this, this guy. Mm hmm You know what this is? No. Me neither. It's pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll, yeah. uh, I'll see you later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Serena Tokugawa for the defense, Your Honor. Ginder Johnson for the people. How does the defendant plead? <clears throat> not guilty, Your Honor. We move that Miss Malone be tried as a juvenile, not as an adult. Your Honor, Miss Malone picked up a gun and shot her father. She's a repeat offender. The only reason she's not a guest of Maryland Youth Authorities at the moment is that her father is an FBI agent. Irrelevant and improper use. In my courtroom, I decide that, Miss Tokugawa. Your client fed like an adult, I'm going to try her like one. Would the people like to be heard on the issue of bond? Yes, Your Honor, we recommend that it be set at $400,000. That's extreme and unnecessary. Miss Malone is a 17-year-old girl. She's a shooter who will be 18 in less than a month. Miss Malone is a troubled minor who had a tragic accident with a gun. She was a fugitive for weeks. That was no accident. Bail is $250,000. Next. You said after I saw the judge, I could go home. Not right now, honey. We'll take care of it, Francis. Don't give them any trouble. I'll come back and see you later, Franny. Do you have a quarter of a million dollars worth of collateral? None of the survivors or witnesses remember anyone suspicious. Only smudges for fingerprints on the bomb fragments. Could be that he burnt his prints off with acid or some other kind of injury. When he likes fire, that usually starts young, playing with matches or whatnot. Maybe he hurt his hands over and over again. I wish he burnt them off. His bomb signature doesn't ring any bells. I checked with ATF, FBI, and the National Database. I've never seen an impulse trigger used in a domestic terror bombing before. What about victimology? Where does that take us? A lot of places. I cross-referenced criminal records with Savannah City Hospital files. I got over 300 hits. This guy is an expert. He uses fire and explosives like a paintbrush. And yeah, being so advised, I scanned the bios and pegged 11 guys with expertise in explosives or chemistry. And of those 11, only one fit the ticket. Uh, Mo Tatum. He's insular, intelligent, good with his hands. Twice divorced, no children. Tatum is 44, unemployed, ex-Navy SEAL, Vietnam vet. He's also one of those Republican Army idiots, took some collars for trespassing and weapons violations. Plus, he's had a beef against Savannah City Hospital for two years over an emergency room bill. He got served with notice they were going to sue him eight days before the bomb went off. I'm buying. Let's settle up. I wonder if we came to the right place. So where is he? Somebody tip him off? Looks like he was looking for something. Drawers are all turned over. Went through the pocket, it was closed. Smokes. I'll get out an APB. Cigarettes. Empty carton in the trash, cigarette butts everywhere. He's coming back. 
was waiting. I don't think so. He left exposed blasting caps. With all this moisture, they could go and send this whole place up. We should get out. Let's clear the house now. Republican Army. Okay, Mo. Don't you want people to know your reasons? At least then they might follow your cause. Major Mo Tatum, People's Republican Army. Nothing but name and rank. He sees himself as a POW. I've heard enough. Better do yourself some good before it's too late. It's not him. This is not the guy that we're looking for. From his house to this interrogation, I saw no signs of originality or imagination. This guy emulates, he does not create. Billy. Let me guess. Tatum's bomb signature doesn't match. Not even close. Didn't use any incendiaries. On a scale of 1 to 10, his bomb craft is about a 3. Hospital guy was physically off the scale, so... This bomber is not just an artist. He is a show-off. He never just kills. It's as if he's proving something. Something about his skill. Inferiority complex. Or superiority. Different sides of the same coin. They both turn on recognition, though, and we just made a very public arrest and give the credit for his work to somebody else. He's not going to like that. He's going to give us some shot. We're getting a report of another bombing. This one's in Washington, D.C. Oh, bingo. Yeah. There were two bombs. First one was hidden in the TV set of a Dwight G. Claremont. Took out his living room. Who was he? A pharmaceutical salesman. See if he has a connection to Savannah City Hospital. Yeah, coming right up. OK, second wave. Hey, baby. I'm less than 100 yards from the most elite law enforcement unit in the country. And three feet away from a loaded 45 automatic. So what that mean? Look at here, George. You will do that voodoo you do so well and launder the money in this account. Or what? You'll kill me. Oh, absolutely. Not. Then you can go to prison. But I will put a hurting on you. One that you'll feel morning, noon, and night for the rest of your life. Nice talking to you. Billy? What's wrong? I'm trying to scare up Bell for Francis. Bank owns most of my house. I've got sip for credit thanks to my divorce. What? Back to Savannah. A bomb went off on Route 50. Nobody touched anything as you were asked. Place is secure. Chopper's on standby. was driving along in traffic. Boom, just blew up. It didn't just blow up. Looks like it went up in a blaze of glory. It made a show of it, just like Claremont in the hospital. Driver? Dead. Car was registered to Eileen Ryan, 41, Savannah resident, real estate agent. And the other bombings, the uh, second wave went off exactly one hour after the first. This time, it's been an hour and a half. So maybe there is no second bomb. Maybe it's a dud. No, this guy doesn't make duds. There's another bomb. There's just a reason it hasn't gone off yet. Good place to start looking to be that truck tucked in down there. Doesn't seem to have a driver attached to it. It's too obvious. It's supposed to be obvious. That's why it hasn't gone off yet. What's to find it? OK, I'm inside. I got two LED timers. Only one of them's working. And I'm just sitting there. Uh, make a. Micro switch on the power supply, touch that and go boom. Let's see if I've been by myself some time here. Liquid nitrogen, last guy tried that too. What the hell is that? Who is that? Who's there with you, Coop? It's a recording. It explains the parts I couldn't identify before. There's, there's, uh, there's a digital recorder built in, key to what I touch. This guy's trying too hard. He wants to be with you while you admire his work. 
We've had a big power surge here. I think I just woke this baby up. Coop, get out of there now. Can't see I'm a motion sensor just kicked in on a, on a mercury switch. I move back, I'm toast. It is only in the contest of the skill, skill, skills between giants, the true excellence of blooms. All right, this has got to be the dead man. Okay, let's see what you got. The problem is there are two connector webs. I picked the wrong one and I'm gone. It's a 50-50 chance unless you think about it, because if you're not willing to eat, 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 flip, 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 flip the coin with your life, you bring all kinds of variables into play, yes? One is clearly operating with more juice. Am I meant to think that's the one? And it's really the other one? It's neither. He's a competitor. There is a singular way to win. It's not either or. It's neither. Hey, man, Sam, I got a third wire. It's very fun, but I, I can't see where it leads. What do your instincts say? My instincts? Say, follow Sam's. Cake. This came for me in an unmarked package from Savannah. The good news is it's not a bomb. Congratulations, Agent Cooper. Welcome to the party, Coop. Your performance yesterday was inspiring. Your technique, mind under pressure, 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 pressure. Ye, ye. May the best, best, best man win. You know this guy. I don't recognize the voice. Well, he knows you. He called you Coop. And I think that he knew you would get called in if he used an electrical pulse trigger. That's why there have been two waves of bombs. One to get your attention, and one for you to disarm. So you figure an old case or a jailhouse revenge type thing. But nobody comes to mind. What's with the repeating and the weird noises he makes? He may not even know he does it. It's one of the medical diagnostics for psychosis. Certain words are loaded, and they can get stuck on them. The noise may have been to relieve the pressure in his head from getting stuck. Let's follow this lead in any connection to an old case. Talk to mental hospitals. I want this wacko before he decides to get Coop's attention again. The average adult has 206 bones in their body. What types? Long, short, flat, and irregular. And why do we study bone structure? To avoid it. Soft tissue is our friend. We want to party with it. Bones of the thorax. Manubrium, gladiolus, and clavicle, xiphoid process. Very good. $25,000 in cash, 250 grand in collateral. What are you doing, Sam? Tom had a pension fund with the university. It's money I never think about. I can't accept this, Sam. I can't let you do it. It's done, right? I already did it. You needed it. I had it. It's OK. Yeah. I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to. Uh, what's happening with the case? It looks like Serena found out a way to go over the assistant DA's head, work out a plea bargain to get Francis probation. Well, that's great. Well, there's a catch. She needs a sworn affidavit about what happened that morning. The morning I was shot. <sighs> I never spoke about it before. I never told you. I never told anyone. I was getting ready for work. I noticed my gun safe was open. I knew Francis had the gun. So I went to a room and confronted her, and then there was yelling, and she was crying. And before I knew it, I honestly don't believe she meant to shoot me, Sam. I think it just went off. But if they find out that she broke into your gun safe and that you argued, I gotta give her probation because the shooting's gonna be premeditated. Tell the whole truth, Francis goes to prison. Lie, and I validate the kind of shaky morality that I. I don't know what to do. You will. When the time comes, you'll know what to do. All we know is beef is personal. There's got to be some connection between Coop, Dwight Claremont, Eileen Ryan, and Savannah City Hospital. And I never even heard of the place, Bailey, until this case. Neither Claremont nor Ryan had any contact with the hospital. Maybe there's some kind of six degrees of separation thing going on. Separation, not a word a bomb guy likes to hear. 
Well, if we don't find him, I'm sure that he'll find us. On the tape, he said he thought Coop was inspiring. Unfortunately, I'm sure that he will want a rematch. <laughs> the resignation is not accepted. Okay, then I quit. Oh, wait a second, George. You come in out of the blue. If you want to quit, you won't say why. What the hell is going on? Come on, tell me. Okay. You don't know everything about me, about um, my life as a hacker. I wanted to come clean when I made my amnesty deal, but I just didn't. <laughs> you held out on the grand jury. I was afraid at the time, Bailey, and I was ashamed of this one thing that I had done and didn't want to go to prison. Now I've been approached by people who know the whole story and they're blackmailing me, and I just, I feel I'd rather quit than betray your trust again. Well, we all make choices we have to live with, George. Sometimes they carry a heavy price. But if I have anything to say about it, you won't pay yours in prison. Don't do this for me. This isn't just for you, George. We need you. Besides, everyone deserves a second chance. Grace said you were looking for me? Yeah. Listen, is it possible to build a bomb that nobody can deactivate? Well, now there's the question. A uh, perfect bomb would only be as good as the next smart aleck who figured out how to pull the plug. Then that's the point. That's why competing with you is so much more important than blowing anything up. It, it's like an overgrown version of Russian roulette. Such a persistent guy. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He's got a girlfriend now, and they kill in stereo. He could be the bomber, for all I know. I mean, he's focusing on you the way that Jack did. Yeah. Actually, when I said persistent, I wasn't talking about Jack. I was talking about me. Look, I adore you. I really do. It's just that I still feel the spark between us. It's still there. It's always been there. But so has Jack. Look, I don't know how to... It's okay, I don't, you don't have to explain No, that. I do, I do. When he killed my husband, it was like he... He destroyed me, my life. Just, uh... It's like the life. It, it changed. It took everything that I had, just... I want to be in love with you. I really do. Part of me always will be, but uh, I just can't go through that again. I just, I can't. I understand. But I want you to know that I'm not going anywhere. So wherever you are, I'll be there. Then he said he was going to spoil me to death. That's an odd thing to say. No kidding. 
Must be fundamental to a psychosis. What does he mean, spoil like a child? So he thinks by blowing them to bits, he's spoiling them. Depends on how you live living. He's crazy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's get back to victimology. Can we connect any dots between the victims? Yeah, that guy Claremont was blown up in D.C. According to his relatives, he dated Eileen Ryan about 10 years ago. We find the connection between them and Coop. We find the bomb. Look, I already told you I have racked my brain. I don't know either one of them. And so far, it doesn't look like you know anybody who knows them either. Excuse me, I've got to go. Billy. Billy, do you want me to come with you? No, it's okay. I think we're pretty close here. I'd rather you concentrate on the leads. Okay. Good luck. Thanks. Do counsel have any motions to make before we begin impaneling the jury for trial? Your Honor, the people and defense counsel have reached a plea agreement that will obviate the need for a trial. We recommend two years probation. Halfway house status in a lockdown center, a Dickens academic residence, and 300 hours of community service. My client has agreed to plead guilty on a charge of gross negligence. The terms of the sentence are agreeable to us, Your Honor. Well, I'm not so sure it's agreeable to me. Let's have counsel and Agent Malone at the sidebar. I don't give attempted murder probation. I need to make certain this was an accident. Now, Agent Malone, you have stated that your daughter simply found the gun lying around. It wasn't in a gun safe or a lock box? Well, it should have been, Your Honor, but I left it out. Francis picked it up, and when I surprised her, it went off. Accidentally, this was not premeditated. She was careless, but never meant for it to happen. She was careless? You supervise an elite federal task force, and this is the way you safeguard your weapons? Any falsehood in this statement is pejorious and unpunishable by a year in jail. At the very least, you'd lose your badge. You still stand by this? I signed it. I'm giving you a chance to recant. There's nothing to recant, Your Honor. I'm at fault. This was an accident due to my negligence. Stand up, young lady. Do you feel lucky? No, Your Honor. I don't know why not. You're the luckiest person to see me all year. You shoot your father, and he says it's his fault. You know, I'm under no obligation at all to accept this plea bargain. I think in this case, a jury would convict, and I know I would sentence you to 25 years. You think I should accept this plea bargain? Yes, Your Honor. I'll bet you do. So ordered. I've gone along with this strictly because I know that your father is very deeply concerned about you. Maybe too deeply. But you step one foot outside these guidelines and you will be right back here. And I have a terrible feeling I'll be seeing you again. Adjourned. <laughs> Hey, how'd it go? We worked it out. I hope I did the right thing. Well, you'll make it right. Uh, listen, I need you to come with me. I want to show you some stuff. In the fireworks industry, you refer to someone who's been hurt with fireworks as having been spoiled. Fireworks? Essentially, they're bombs, incendiary bombs. Right, and fireworks practitioners create, so they're artists. It's a really small industry. It's mostly families, but there is one company that Coop had direct dealings with. Al Corello, president and owner of Corello Fireworks. Company's based in Savannah, founded in Florence, Italy by Leonardo Corello in 1774. Oh, yeah, he looks familiar. If a bit older. 16 years ago, there was an emergency at the Corello warehouse in Mobile, Alabama. I was right out of the academy. They were testing electrical detonators. Back then? Yeah, they weren't impulse triggers, but fairly sophisticated. And it was a situation where an employee had let one of them get out of control. If the warehouse had gone up with all those fireworks inside, it could have taken out a square mile or whatever. So it didn't blow up because Coop defused the detonator. Let me guess the name of the employee who screwed up. Al Carrillo. Coop humiliated him and at the same time set himself up as the standard to me. Shen Carrillo lost all his marbles and his taste. Well, we have a clue about where his marbles went. A few years ago, Carrillo ran a red light and got into a traffic accident. 
The driver of the car he hit was Dwight Claremont, guy from D.C. Claremont's sole passenger was his ex-girlfriend, Eileen Ryan. The woman killed in the Savannah car box. They walked away from the accident. Carella was hospitalized. At Savannah City Hospital. Since Claremont and Ryan weren't hospitalized, we couldn't find the link. Hospital records show that Carella was in a lot of pain. He started breaking up the place. The accident wasn't his fault, this, that, and the other. He's diagnosed as paranoid and delusion. So we have a man who grew up around fireworks. He was pushed to excel. His psychosis warped his competitiveness into paranoia. The hospital, Claremont and Ryan became his enemy list, but his signature was his need to outdo Cooper. Paranoid psychosis can be treated with drugs, but the body builds up a resistance, so the dosages have to be reviewed periodically. I guess he missed his. Okay, good work, it all fits. Get an address, we hit the ready line in 10 minutes. All your positions, keep your attack channels open. Wait for my command. Yes, sir. Control system fire. Floor mounted motion sensors. They're triggering the rockets. They need disarm it. No, this is just a relay. You must, must, must be on your belly right about now, Coop. Question is, how low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? It's in the basement. There's, there's gotta be a basement. The detonator's in the basement, Coop. Yeah, okay. I could go for it, but it'll set off a bunch more fireworks, probably. Problem is with this guy, he's probably got a timer on it too. Maybe there's a better way to approach this. I could try to kill the sensors. They're gonna be rigged as well. Unless you can come up with a other option, you've gotta go for it. own control system, which is probably running the rocket launchers upstairs, and another bomb. Two heads on it. Looks like they have to be deactivated in the correct order or else. And a timer running the whole shebang. Looks like we've got about two minutes. Okay. I'm on it. This is not good. Come on, so he's up. right now, Al? That's right. We're live. And to say that way, you're going to have to push yourself to be the best you have to beat the best. One minute warning, Coop. Call under pressure. Pressure, pressure. 
don't want to settle for second best. My dad always used to say, the surest hands and the coolest head will win the day. Yeah, what did he say about being crazy as a loon? You know I'm not crazy. Poop. You know about them. They're ordinary, they're small. They keep getting smaller. They just don't like to be reminded that giants walk the earth like us. Hey, give me a little hand, will you, Al? This is a real live grenade. Oh, yes. And if you touch it, it'll blow up, and then everybody blows up, and if you leave it alone, then the same thing happens. Beautiful, don't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. Except I see a wire here that isn't attached to a damn thing, which tells me this little grenade is a damn decoy! Stumped? Life passing before your eyes? But we do have a live relay, so there's got to be another dead in here, which is what? 22nd morning, Coop. Oh, are you kidding me, Al? Is this what I think it is? First generation of electronic triggers? What was it, 15 years ago? God, some college kid couldn't figure out a shut down. It's late. It's too late, Coop. Sentimental touch, Al. Not too effective, but real sentimental. Five. Good job, Coop. Great job, my friend. I'll meet you upstairs. I'm gonna go see if I can help the police officer. Coop? On my way. Watch out for Corolla. I don't think the game is over. advantage here. I know. My dad used to say that if you can win, 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 fair and square, then Drop. I'd rather not. Go for your gun. Drop the gun. He, 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 he. Stay out of this. Al. Al. Drop it now. Oh. <gasps> Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Sam! Yeah. You're up. What? Be gone. We've all got to be checked out for hazardous residue. You know the drill. Thank you very much. Let me just pop this off. So, that's the bomber who's been all over the news, huh? I guess you gotta get up pretty early in the morning to fool you. Uh, maybe it was just... my lucky day. <laughs> I bet you've prayed for the chance to get your hands on me. Haven't you, Coop? Put your hands where I can see him. Right now. Back 
there. Isn't she the greatest? Say hello to Sam for me. And then say goodbye to yourself. Down, I want an ambulance now. Oh, God, you're I saw okay. Jack. You can shh, 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 you can. No, you can. It's okay. Shh. have a funeral no not everybody but it's a good way to say goodbye to the people that we care about I wish we didn't have to say goodbye to Coop so soon Get you to bed. love you, I love you too, cool. <laughs> 